Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be smoking a grass-fed brisket. This was provided to me by Sherwood Foods, grass-fed beef from Ireland. Let's take a look. Okay, it's a fair old size, about eight kilograms in weight. So we're just gonna get a paper towel and pat it dry. This will help the rub stick to it when I um, put the rub on. You might be used to seeing briskets on American barbecue channels that are covered in fat. Have to have loads of trim off of them, take hours to cook. British beef's very different to American. Grass fed, not corn, so don't get a lot of fat. I'm not going to take anything off this. It's got just a thin layer, perfect for smoking. So let's get the Frank's hot sauce and the Traeger rub ready to put on. Okay, Michael Jackson impression now. Rubber glove on. This is to help prevent cross contamination. So one hand you have a rubber glove, the other you don't. So when you touch raw meat, touch it with the gloved hand. And when you touch condiments, use the hand with a glove on. Simple. Whenever I smoke beef, I always use Frank's Red Hot Sauce as a layer to help the rub stick to the meat. Rather than using olive oil or anything fatty, this is zero calories and provides a good layer of flavour underneath the rub. So once again, just pat your meat dry and then apply a good old liberal dollop of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Don't forget to do the section at the front, the point. There's like a flap here. Um, if you forget it, then you'll have a whole section of your meat that's unseasoned and you'll taste it in the final product. Oh, I better actually show you what I'm using here. It's um, Traeger's Big Game Rub. Don't be shy with a rub, give it a good old coating. The tins come in 200 gram weights, so there's plenty in there. Uh, as I said, this is eight kilogram brisket, it's pretty big. The chopping board's on, is probably a good meter long, so just gives you an idea of size of it. Um, make sure you get the edges and eventually I'm going to flip this over and do the underneath so it's important to season all the corners of the brisket.
You can see now where the one glove comes into play, one hand to dust the rub over it and one hand to pat the meat, make sure the rub's sticking, otherwise you'll have trouble um, doing it without the glove. You get mess everywhere, cross-contamination, all sorts. Right, let's flip this bad boy, here we go. Oosh. Same again, Frank's red hot sauce all over it, rub it on with a glove, and then apply the rub. Again, all the corners, sides, make sure it's liberally, liberally coated. Okay, I'm gonna cook this on a Traeger Pro 34. So I'm gonna set it up initially to smoke, have it on for a couple of hours. This is about two hours in. After an hour on smoke, I turn the temperature up to 132, um, and that's what I'm gonna leave it at for the rest of the time it cooks. So let's see how it gets on. As you can see, it's picked up a nice color from the smoke already use the hickory pellet so you get that nice red colouring on the meat. Okay, you want this to reach an internal temperature of around 93 to 97 Celsius. This is a good seven and a half hours in and it's pretty much done. So what I'm going to do in a minute is take it off and let it rest for a good hour. This allows the moisture to redistribute around the meat, making it nice and tender and juicy. Again, look at the size of this thing. You can uh, fit about 36 burgers on this Traeger, so it gives you an idea of how big this bit of beef is. I'm gonna actually need two sets of tongs to move it off the so big. Uh, Another tip, always the best to throw tongs. Barbecue is best friends. Right, so after an hour resting, let's give it a cut and see what it looks like. The section closest to the screen is known as the point. The section nearest my beer is known as the flat. The brisket type cuts come out of the flat. 
and the burnt ends come out the point because it's the fatty bit. There we go. Very happy with this. Just under the eight hour mark on the Traeger. And you've got to do the obligatory brisket squeeze, all the juice coming out. Lovely old job. So thanks for Very joining happy. me today again on Jack's Meat Shack. I'll try and do some more videos around beef on the barbecue. And hope you enjoyed. Oh, it smells good. Cool, the smell of that, yeah.